Welcome to another edition of uh, Don Alton on Fishing. This is the second in a uh, three-part series about transition from summer to fall. And now I'm in Lucerne Bay and uh, I'm going to be showing you some, some, uh, uh, some things, hopefully, about uh, catching fish out here in, in Lucerne. Um, and uh, as you can see, I've got rigged one of uh, Ned's bait box, um, three-quarter ounce uh, burbot jigs and um, I've got a, a one of their clear uh, glow uh, grubs on. I've also got a little piece of uh, sucker meat and uh, basically I'm I'm dropping down to uh, schools of fish that are getting ready to to uh, spawn or at least I'm after the pups I'm not really concerned about the big females that are actually on the bed I'm around the uh, what they call the gravel pit out here but there's tons and tons and tons of area where there's where there's a lot of fish. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of methods that I use this time of year to, uh, to target these fish. Uh, another one that I'm going to use um, is an old favorite. Years and years and years ago when I started fishing for uh, Kokanee, a guy by the name of Jerry Zabriskie showed me just a standard buzz bomb. And... Um, and you know, at, at the we used to start fishing them in August, and we fished them all the way through um, until after the spawn. And so um, this is one I do tip a little bit with with sucker meat, but when I've got one sucker meat down there, this one is kind of one of those that I try to get their attention by by making a, a wild uh, uh, jerk up, and then I let it go down. I kind of kind of try to give it a little tiny bit of a slack line when I when I drop. And uh, amazing how these fish uh, focus in on things like maybe that little bead that I've got there, um, or that white bead. So anyway, these are the two uh, things that I'm going to be fishing tonight. I might actually throw something else into the mix if the, fee if the fish tell me to do so. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy tonight's episode, or today's episode of uh, Don Often on Fishing. I think we've probably got a burbot here maybe. I don't know. Wow, nice fish. Nice fish. Well, he's taking line now. <laughs> a lot of fun. Almost sunset. We've got a few more minutes before sunset. Oh, there's a nice little lake trout. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's good. He wanted that. He wanted that jig. Well, I got something down there. Doesn't feel too large but just about sunset, so I've only got four or five minutes to fish. And uh, second one we've got, oh, that's a, it's a decent fish. You bet it is. Yeah, that's all right, that's a nice little pup. That's a good one. Yeah, they like the low light. That's for doggone sure. They like it when it's low light. I don't know what I've got here. This is morning time, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I think we've probably got a lake trout. But you don't know really for sure yet. Just uh, getting warmed up for the day, seeing what's going on. It's a little bit cool this morning. But uh, we are fishing, which is a good thing. It's a nice little lake trout. There we go. Okay, so all I was doing on that one was was I started to just slow troll, and what I mean by that is my finders at about, uh, or my finder, my uh, trolling motors at about a, a three. 
and uh, I, I was seeing fish but they weren't reacting to the jig and so I started to to move just a little tiny bit through a couple of waypoints that I have and uh, and sure enough just just within a matter of 30 seconds I got a bite so so that's another little tidbit that you can put together if they're if they're not quite biting but this is great feels good let's see what we got here I gotta reel him up a little bit more yeah just a nice little pup excited little guy uh, this one came up from the bottom look how he he just was clamping on with his teeth that's a great little fish that's gonna be perfect for the barbecue or whatever we decide to do with him his pups are great eating now that one that was interesting it came up from the bottom and and just uh, I was kind of reeling up a little bit and it just uh, came up and and just whacked me just one of those deals you you think about you know you see it coming on the screen and all of a sudden from the bottom it just rushes up and all you have to do is set the hook so this is this is fun I've only been out for about 20 minutes I got two fish lost one so um, good morning you know these fish today are not uh, you know just like happens uh, the reason a lot of people don't come out and fish in the fall is that uh, is that they see fish on the finder and they just won't bite well don't get me wrong I've done the same thing over and over and over again but what I learned is that is that enticing the bite I call it manipulating the bite happens with lake trout as well as it does with bass and the way, the way it does with uh, with uh, rainbows and by manipulating the bite that means I I try to get down there right in their face and try to do something crazy either either start reeling in my line uh, a little bit uh, or I will uh, make a wild jerk up with the, with my bait and uh, see if I cannot get a reaction from these fish because because right now they're they're uh, they're in the spawn mode but a lot of these pups um, are uh, you know are, are not really going to be the ones that are you know the, the the real big lake trout that are spawning and so they kind of hang around with the group but uh, but the point is that um, that they're catchable but you have to uh, just do something a little bit different um, and and to attract their attention so I'm glued to my finder and um, and and I and I'm glued to my waypoints and from there I just um, work between the waypoints and uh, when I get an opportunity uh, see a fish see fish on the bottom and which there are just hundreds and hundreds of fish on the bottom I uh, I reel up uh, a little bit or do something that's just out of the ordinary to get those fish to bite I hope this helps you catch some fish in the fall yeah he came up and he came up and grabbed that Get, go grab the net real quick, son. I'm not saying we need it because it doesn't feel like a big fish, but just have it here in case. Here we go. Go ahead and take it. It's a decent fish. Good. That leaked tonight. That's a nice fish. Nice pup. Good job, Don. Thanks for netting that thing. Good job. I'm going to get out of your way as quick as I can. What do you think? Any, any size to it, do you think? Same size? good oh yeah oh yeah that's a yeah, nice yeah, fish right about almost, <laughs> yeah that'll there we work. go that'll work good job don there you go yeah that's a good one. that's a nice fish <laughs> you, need pliers. you said a good hook get down there and catch another one <laughs> Good job, Don. These will eat well tonight. Thanks for watching another episode of Don Often on Fishing. You know, I'll tell you what, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I've shot this in a couple of three days. I am, I've only been spending an hour and a half, two hours, maybe three at the tops. Um, uh, you know, in the last couple of three weeks, we've had elk hunts and deer hunts and everything else going on. And so, 
uh, but I'm just uh, just uh, here. I had to. Uh, this is in the, it's just it's just in the afternoon on a Thursday, and and uh, and just just we've had a great time. Um, I had to right in the middle of my of my uh, fishing. I got a call from my oldest son Don and Don Jr. and he is uh, so I ran over and grabbed him. So he's sharing the, the last hour with me. But um, I hope I've shown you some things, or at least talked to you about some things about how we how we do uh, in this transition from from summer to fall. But the thing is, is that is that uh, we're fishing f uh, for fish that are not spawning yet, but are coming into the spawning beds. Um, I've I've uh, most of the fish that I've caught in the last couple of three weeks have been males, and that's that's very typical of most species of fish. That are that are getting ready to spawn. The males come in first, and then the females follow them. So, um, with with that being said, um, I hope you uh, in, enjoyed this episode. Not a lot of fish, uh, you know, caught on this particular one, but uh, but you need to realize that that patience is a virtue here. And uh, every once in a while, you get in a, into a an area where they're going to be biting all the time. Otherwise, it's going to be one here, one there until a little bit closer to uh, November and uh, and the uh, the actual spawn and then a lot of things start happening the burbots start to start to bite the uh, the uh, smaller lake trout pups are coming in to try to eat the eggs and that's one of those uh, those those times that uh, a lot of fish are caught within the next month so thanks again for watching uh, and uh, have a great day